game number three. Tama versus Choosy on Longinus. Here we go. Spawning as the yellow zerg. Wait, what did I just do? Okay, spawning as the yellow zerg in the top left. We do have Choosy representing Poland, uh, who are currently down one to two in this uh, in this nation war. And Tama will be the teal Protoss in the six o'clock, representing Mother Russia. Uh, so this is going to be the third and final game of this uh, of this match of this series uh, between Choosy and Tama. And uh, this is Ch uh, this is rather sorry. This is Tama's map pick. It's Longinus, and Longinus, uh, I believe, is a good map for PVZ. Um, of course, if we look at uh, historical results, it is the only map on which Combat X defeated Chill. So I'm pretty sure that means it's good for Protoss. Uh, so yeah, let me uh, let me do the overlay. Alright, so we have an over something from Choosy. Uh, Tama will be scouting in the wrong direction. Choosy's overlord will be scouting in the right direction. And probe gonna move out. Probably just gonna make a forge. I believe you can just forge gateway and make a nice tight wall on Longi. <coughs> wow, excuse me. Choked on my own spittle. So it looks like um, we do have a overpool from Choosy. Um, let me actually rearrange my keyboard a little bit. Okay, good, good. I am in Gosu comfortable casting uh, mode. <coughs> and we do have an expansion from Choosy. It's not going to get spotted by Thomas Pro, so we won't be able to block that. Um, but that will mean that the links are going to come out two by two. As we can see, he doesn't quite have enough money for all of them at once. And Probu. Can do a little loop de loop, see what's up. Uh, he's gonna make one cannon first before the next, it's just gonna be safe. Uh, it gets an overpool, depending on the map, sometimes you can actually go for the Nexus first anyway, like Forge Nexus Cannon, but um, I'm not really sure about Longinus, perhaps you need to go for cannon first, and that's, that's fine. Uh, there's only two links for Choosy. And meanwhile, Tom has actually been denying this mineral only, so good job to him. Uh, the, Oh, nice, nice. Blocking this for quite a while. How high in minerals will Choosy get? Choosy gonna go up to. Oh, he wants to build it. Oh, look at that little probe. Look at Tama. Look at Tama's probe micro. Oh, no. Oh, finally getting it. Um, so Choosy is going to take this mineral only, and Thomas' uh, Nexus is about halfway done. <coughs> uh, and his gateway has been constructed as well, so there's a very nice wall tight here and here, so it just has to put a, a Zealot or two up here to block. Uh, in the meantime, also taking his uh, Gas Geyser. And is this another... Oh my god, is Choosy going to do it again? Wow, Choosy's actually going to do it again! <laughs> I mean, if it worked the first time, you might as well. LOL, LOL. Choosy playing like a boss. And look at this, Tama goes in, he's like, oh my god, there's no gas. He's like, oh my god, there's no hatchery. Ah, Choosy. Choosy did it again. Choosy did it again. My scoreboard got effed. This is my silly little, my silly little script thing doesn't leave it updated. It like clears the score every time. It's pretty dumb. Don't worry guys. I'll fix it. This is this is the field test. This is the first field test. I actually just finished writing it like an hour before the cast. Like Sebast was like, hey Sale, Sale, do you wanna do you wanna play some practice games for Nation Wars? And I was like, dude, dude, I'm making this cool little thingy that calls me master and changes the score, and yes it is 1-1, you're correct. 
Um, except I just made the yellow thing dark again. Ah, sigh. Sigh, sigh, sigh. So the probe's gonna see this again. And... Uh... I'm, I'm wondering how Tomo's gonna change his build this time to kill this. Okay, looks like he's off for a Citadel first. He skips Stargate, going straight for Citadel. I think Choosy will... I think he should see this. And it looks like we have gateways being added. So Tama, Tama going for the speed Zell attack. Meanwhile, also harassing with this one Zell. The Zerg is actually just running away from the Zealot. See, normal Lings. Oh no, he's actually going to go kill the probe. Uh, oh, barely doesn't kill the drone. But the Zealot will finish that guy off. And was there another Zealot somewhere? Apparently there was, because this drone's just like damaged and AFK. Uh, and there is the Hydro Den as well. Um, a second cannon at the front. And looks like some links are going to take this guy down, but he does have three kills already. And I hear something shooting. Aha! There's a Dragoon killing an Overlord in Tama's base. Very nice. So, uh, looks like we have speed, we have four gateways, we have plus one. So it's going to be a four gate. Uh, plus one speed zell attack here, and oh, it looks like another random drone died. I assume from uh, from the zealot harass. But Juicy's got his four bases up, and he started hydro production. So I mean, he's doing exactly the same thing as last game. So it's good. Let's see how uh, let's see how good Thomas' response is. So like he's built a mana pylon, not really, but kind of. Uh, and he's also getting a slightly later uh, Templar archives here. There's one overlord just checking things out. And hmm, third cannon is down. Is he gonna go for this? No, he can't go for it, can he? Uh, uh, uh. He's poking the front. He doesn't have range yet, though, so he can't really poke. Yeah, range is only halfway done. But when range finishes, he can pick off this gateway easily, and probably the forge as well. But plus one will finish this time, unlike last game. And uh, I think when this round of zealots comes out, uh, Thomas is gonna go, and he's actually gonna have enough. To, uh, to crush these Hydras. Yep, looks like he's gonna go. He got the round of Zelt, and Choosy is in full retreat right now. So, can Choosy hold this off? I mean, he's got one creep colony. He's, he's, he's gonna be so spread out. I mean, he's got this base over here um, that, that Tama can attack. He's got this really open base here, the, the mineral only. Uh, he can kind of sim city up at the natural, but then his other two bases are, are just gonna die. So, uh, really gonna have to defend this with units, but it looks like he's got a decent number of Hydras here. Uh, basically, one to one, Zealots the Hydras with a few links to support, and it looks like Choosy is gonna have enough here to defend, I think. It's gonna be close, but he's gonna be pumping from a lot of hatcheries, and yes, indeed, with some good micro as well. Choosy's gonna completely crush the plus one Zealot attack of Tama, so it looks like Tama, Tama for the second time, has no answer to this really greedy build that Choosy is doing. It looks like, oh no, he had actually rallied. His gateways forward is going to catch uh, a couple of units. Looks like two zealots are going to run past. They're being chased by a hydra here. He's going to just going to run in and try and do some harassment. But he's in a lot of trouble right now, and he's nowhere near Psionic Storm. Uh, so, so he's going to have a difficult time holding off all these hydras in the front. I think he does have a decent number of zealots still, but uh, there are a lot of hydras coming down here now. Two zealots are going to run into the main. Some hydras in hot pursuit right now. How many drones can they kill? Looks like they're going to get three drones. Yes, maybe four. It looks like four drones are going to get taken down by the two zealots. So very nice zealots. But uh, look at this. He's got a lot of hydras at his front. He's building mass cannons to defend. There's a high Templar, but Storm is not quite done yet. I think Storm will actually finish around the time that this guy actually even gets 75 energy. But Choosy, I think, is in a fantastic position. Uh, he's, he's still got his four bases. He only took a little bit of, uh, of econ damage. And yeah, this is just it's not good for Tama. And and this build, man, this build of Choosy, I, to be honest, I don't actually know how you're supposed to punish this. Like, what do you actually do as a Protoss? Because when he takes that fourth base, you actually don't, you just don't have stuff. Hmm, this is pretty tricky. Two more gateways being added. DD has snuck out, but uh, there's an Overlord here. There's an, plenty of Overlords here, so I don't think that he's going to do too much. He has an Overlord here as well. So, uh, so Choosy should be nicely defended. Looks like DD's actually moving back. Uh, oh, it looks like Choosy just kind of poked in a little bit, and Tama got scared that there was a bust, so he pulled that back to help defend. But uh, but he's going to send that out now. 76 supply, 78 now for Tama, again, 74 for Choosy, so pretty close, but that's bad for Protoss, generally. 
Uh, more, another gateway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gateways in total. Looks like going up to eight gateways in total, including the one at the, uh, the natural. And looks like an, Evo, an evolution chamber, gonna help do a bit of sim sitting. Another hatchery here uh, by the mineral only. The DT's gonna try and sneak in, but that's not gonna happen, I think. Oh, well. Oh, look at this. It actually is, and there's no overlord in the main. He's got oh, no overlord speed. Oh, wow. He's gonna actually deny mining in the main for a little bit here. So that's actually quite a nice DT. I didn't think he'd get in, but uh, DT's, man, they are pretty sneaky. Uh, however. Oh, it looks like Choosy's like, wait a minute, I shouldn't send all my overlords back there. Um, wait, where'd the guy go? Wait, where'd the DT go? Oh, there he is. Man, those DTs are sneaky, but oh, sorry, looks like I, I missed a bit of an engagement here at the front while I was looking at that DT. Um, looks like uh, Tama took advantage of the uh, of all the commotion to, to actually move out here. And does Choosy actually have enough to hold this off? Because Tama has a decent sized army. He's got a lot more units at the back, though. If he had all those high templars at the front, he could crush... Uh, Choosy, but it looks like Choosy actually going in for a Templar Snipe, very nice Templar Snipe is sacrificing a handful of units and he will push the Zealots back, but there are a lot more High Templar coming in uh, to reinforce, but no, it looks like all the High Templar are stuck from bad pathing, oh my god, stupid High Templar are gonna let all their Zealot buddies get taken down here, one more High Templar is coming in, but look at this, he just can't figure out how to get out, he's just trying so hard to leave the base, but he just cannot figure out how to get out. Oh man, a really unfortunate... Unfortunate, I don't even want to call it an error because that wasn't Tama's mistake. That was just Brood War being Brood War. I mean, <laughs> that's why we love this game, guys. That's why this game is just so beautiful because three High Templar get stuck on your forge. Look at this guy, he still can't get out. This guy just cannot, look at him. He's just like running, he's just like headbutting this forge. He's like, come on, come on, let me out. Is he actually going to stay there forever? I think he's just going to stay there forever. Forever and ever and ever. Uh, however, well, no, actually, never mind. There's a lot of lurkers and links coming in now, and that's like almost entirely zealots. Oh god! Oh god! Stop! Oh my god! Did you guys see that? <laughs> All the blood just popping at once. Oh my goodness! However, uh, Tom is gonna get his army stuck here. There's a lot of lurkers. He's gotta kill the lurkers before they borrow. Two lurkers do pop, but one lurker does borrow. Does he have any more storms? Uh, I don't even know. The one, the one Templar looks like he's escaped his prison. He's escaped the prison, but is it going to be too late? The Zealots are doing a nice job cleaning up the links. They are 2-0 Zealots against non-upgraded Zerg. But they have nothing to detect the Lurkers. Looks like Choosy just going to save his uh, his drones right now. And is sending in more units. He wants to borrow the Lurker. The Lurker doesn't get down. But Choosy, he's got a few links. He's ready for a counterattack. He sees the third base, but the links are just being AFK. Uh, a few Zealots are chilling in the middle of the map, and it looks like the Lurkers are coming in from behind. Um, Tama wants to kill this base, but he's got Lurkers there. Is there an Observer? There is an Observer now. He can actually kill these Lurkers, but the Observer is not in range, and I don't think there's enough units left to kill that. The drone's just running through here, and looks like... Oh, Parting Storm does get a number of drones. But Tama's army has been demolished, and it looks like he's going to lose his third base here. Tama is on the ropes. Choosy, Choosy, who is down one game. Can he pull it back? Two games in a row. A nice link counterattack. And Tama, how many gateways is he on? He's still on eight gateways. I don't know, it's 78 supply for Choosy against 90 of Tama, so... You know, Tama's not done yet. He's not in a great position. He's, he's two base, fighting against a, a four base Zerg. But, uh, you know, he's got a decent ground army right now. Once again, no high Templar, though. Apparently not a huge fan of Templars. Uh, he's getting plus three. I mean, he has the 